The kids are way more brave than I am. I prefer to stay. Ah. <laughs> I prefer to stay near the edge. Found a uh, slushy spot. So last night we had temperatures in the negative digits. I think we were, I think we were at maybe negative eight or nine, maybe negative ten, and we just don't get temperatures like this here in Oklahoma. It's normally much warmer. Our winters are on average 30s and 40s with lows in the 20s. And in all of our 12-ish years of living in Oklahoma, it has never been this cold. We are thankful for the warmth of a warm wood stove and a cozy house. And lots of hot chocolate and soup. All the animals have been kept warm. These snowflakes are crazy on top of the ice. really slippery. I hear a rooster crowing. I think most of them are not terribly happy with this weather either. Here's the entrance into the chicken yard. And you can see off in the distance, we've got the chicken coop tarped and... Oh, it's at the... Wow! Yeah. What is it? That's where that, that's the height marker. It's definitely frozen in there. Mm -hmm. You need to see how thick the ice is. chickens. So typically the chickens can come down here and get water at the pond and then the ducks have access to the pond without the dogs. Here's how much I'm sinking in at this particular space. It's pretty deep. We put the dogs up in their kennel. You can see them off in the background just for now so that we can explore without them whining. They also have a tendency to explore in the water, which we don't want them to fall in. Here's the chicken coop. And if you see, we tarped the north and east sides because that is where the wind is coming from right now. And he's trying to break free. How's everybody doing? We got rid of most of the snow in the path to the coop house.
and then we also put this wood here to block their, the wind from their entrance. Is everybody happy? <laughs> How's it going in there? Let's check inside the house. Oh, it's a mess in here. <laughs> it is a mess. So we have been putting some food in the actual coop, uh, dry feed, and then water out in the, oh, it's gross in here. We haven't been able to get out to clean it because it's just too cold. We'll do that eventually. Maybe the next couple days when the, the temperatures warm back up. not happy. And now we're going to see how thick the ice is. See how thick the ice is. Ooh. So the other day, Nathan was trying to see how thick the ice was, and he dropped his mallet in <laughs> to never return. Ha! Huh. Please use caution, children. Otto, do back. some slushy spots. Hey Otto, can you scoot back just a hair? Always when being on the ice, use utmost caution. You don't want too many people crowded in one spot. Granted, this is about the center of our pond. You can see our house back there. And we're just trying to see how thick the ice is. What do we got there? So, Otto. I'd say we're about from there to there. Uh, I don't know. Would that be two inches? Yeah. Just under two inches? Thick? Just under. Yeah. About two inches. Yeah. 
now we can officially go exploring. So if we cut this piece of wood, Uh-huh. I remember. I saw you. Hey, we made it back. Safe and sound. 